Well, apparently the Stampeders don't mind the heat. They're 17-1-1 one one in the 1990s in the month of July. Talk about speed cap. They've got plenty to burn back there to receive this kick from Mark McLaughlin. Wayne Walker and Freeman Basinger have dropped deep for Shreveport, and we're just about set on a sizzling night in Shreveport, Louisiana. McLaughlin kicking it off, and they want to place it outside the hash marks. Basinger in the middle of the field now tries to work up the sidelines, and he's dropped at the 38-yard line by a reserve fullback. Craig Brenner makes the tackle and we're underway in the second game for both teams in this CFL season. Let's set the offense for you. We talk about those good receivers. And Rod Harris, a 1,000-yard man last year. So was Curtis Mayfield, formerly of the Las Vegas Posse, and a big offensive line. Huge size, big guy. The big question there, are they going to be able to move their feet because this Calgary defense has some speed? They average 6'5", 310 pounds. And Tolliver starts out of the shotgun, has to pull it down, rolling right, and now drops it off to Basinger, who's pushed out of bounds. Uh, Gerald Vaughn, short gain on the play. We set the Calgary defense, which is uh, pretty well established. This is the unit they've used for most of the 90s. Veteran guys up front, led by Stu Laird. Happy birthday, Stu Laird, 35 years old, and a linebacking core that equals everything that we have seen in this league. Two new cornerbacks, Kim Phillips in from Winnipeg, and Marvin Coleman was last year a rookie and an extra in the secondary. They're being put to the test. In the 95 season, Tolliver on second and seven, scrambling now out in the flat. There's Patton, the running back, and he is stopped at the 48-yard line. That's very close to a first down as he helps the officials with the spot. This is the kind of thing that we talked about early at the onset of this game. He's going to take his read, three-step, five-step drop, take a peek. If it's not there, he still has some foot speed. The first two plays of this series, he's able to get away from a little bit of heat find an open receiver, and these receivers are starting to get that continuity of as the quarterback scrambles around, work back to an open area, and he'll find you and deliver the ball on the money. They are short. We get a measurement here. It looks like they're about the length of the football short. Well, look for it right now. If they are that short, with the, the defense having to line a yard up off the line of scrimmage, that if the quarterback sneak it, it's important again. You keep the first down going right now. It's a big play, get a motivation, and really inspire this offense and the whole Shreveport team. Usually you send the jumbo team in in this situation, but when your line averages 6'5", 310, does it get any bigger than that? Dolliver will follow the line, but whistles are blowing and flags are flying before that play got underway. 